Okay, so my, my point was, we are meeting here on the backdrop of us having made tremendous progress with our syllabus, with our taxation Zimbabwe syllabus for June 2020 exams. And I'm sure we are, we are all caught up with everything that we are supposed to do. If you haven't joined previous lectures, make sure you've made advantage of the links that we have sent to our WhatsApp class group on previous lecture videos. And just, just a recap of what we have covered so far, allow me to, to, to just list these topics down. We have done gross income, gross income, that, that's, that's one thing that we've done. Number two, we have done Lease premiums and lease improvements, premiums and lease improvements. We have done three um, exempt incomes, exempt incomes. We have done four deductions, deductions. Okay, so deductions, uh, five prohibited deductions, prohibited deductions, six tax computation, tax computation from employment, employment and Payment income. We've done seven taxation partners and farmers. Eight. We've equally done capital gains tax. Capital gains gains tax and nine to which is today one today to do VAT and ten we want to do tax administration. So we we want to to finish the syllabus today. If we can if we can cover VAT and tax administration or if we can cover VAT today so that we are we know that we, we are almost done. So our discussion topic for this week is value added tax. Value added tax. That's VAT. That's VAT. Value added tax. So what 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 is VAT? If you say definition, you may want to know the definition of VAT. What is it? When you're saying this is VAT definition, the tax. This is a tax which is levied or charged, levied by a registered operator registered operator operator when making taxable supplies that's VAT it's a tax that a registered operator makes when uh, charges when you are making taxable supply so from the definition here you can see here that the operator is to be registered. That's one thing. And VAT is levied when you make taxable supplies. Not, not, not when you sell anything, no. When you are making taxable supplies. The operator is to be registered and you charge VAT when you are making taxable supplies. Then right away, let us have rates of fat. 
rates of VAT. Now, uh, we do have quite a lot of VAT rates. So there is a standard rated supplies. If you are making what we refer to as the standard rated supplies, if you are making standard rated supply, the rate is 14.5%. 14.5%, that's the rate of VAT on standard rated supplies. Now, if we are making zero rated supplies, zero rated supplies, the rate is 0%, as the name suggests. And then, so these are the two rates of VAT. There is what we refer to as standard rated supplies, and there is what we refer to as exempt supplies. I mean, I mean zero rated supplies, where you charge a zero rate. So, so if an amount is inclusive of that, if an amount is inclusive of VAT. The VAT portion, the VAT portion is obtained as follows. Now, if, if, if you have an amount which is inclusive of that, the VAT portion, you, you get it like say, you, you get it by saying, you say 114,5, yeah, you say, so you say 100 over 11, Oh, sorry, I, I want the VAT portion. You say 14,5 divided by 114,5 multiply by the amount. Multiply by the VAT inclusive amount. This is how you get VAT portion if the amount is inclusive of that. That's how you get it. It will be 114, it, it will be 14,5 over 114,5. You multiply that by the VAT inclusive amount. If another, it's if an amount, if an amount is exclusive, this time let us say exclusive, not inclusive. If an amount is exclusive of VAT, the VAT portion is obtained as follows. You simply say 114, well, you say 14.5 percent multiplied by the VAT exclusive amount. See that? If an amount is exclusive of that, the VAT portion is obtained as follows. Just say 14.5 multiplied by, by the VAT exclusive amount. So this is so important. Can I put NB here? You, you just get it from the rates. You just get it from the rates. Now we may say, say, what if an amount is exclusive of VAT, but it's zero rated? Clearly, if it's zero rated, there's no VAT. Because it will be zero percent of that. So it, so don't say if it's, zero, it's, if it's zero rated, so how does the formula then work? No, if it's zero rated, the formula doesn't work. Right. Then we do have types of supplies. Types of supplies. Because why this heading is important? Because you have heard me saying VAT is a tax which is levied by a registered operator on taxable supplies. So you need to know what are these, what are the various types of supplies we have for VAT. So there are various supplies we do have for VAT. Let me start start by saying standard rated, uh, zero rated supplies or exempt supplies, if you want me to say that. Exempt, exempt supplies. You know, if you are an exempt supplier, it means, this means, this means there is no obligation, no obligation to charge to charge or collect collect VAT 
there's no obligation for you to charge or collect VAT. And even and even to claim input tax. Input tax. Input tax when making exempt supplies. So that, that's that's that, that's what we mean by exempt supplies. These are supplies where you don't have even an obligate, you don't even charge, um, you don't even charge VAT, you don't even collect VAT. There's no VAT consequences of any transaction that you make, so to speak. Examples of exempt supplies. So we, there are various examples of exempt supplies. Examples of exempt supplies. I'm just to give you just a few examples here. When you see these, know for sure that these are exempt supplies. Number like number one, uh, domestic water. Domestic water. So when you are receiving water, check the water bill. You notice there is no VAT. Domestic electricity. Domestic electricity. Electricity. If you check well, you notice there is no VAT on domestic electricity. And there are quite a lot you can check on financial services. Financial services. No wonder why banks they don't pay that. If you get a loan from a bank and overdraft, the interest you are charged, don't you don't think there's a fat portion they know. Um issues to do with educational services. Educational services. By educational services, normally we are looking at issues of high school education, university education, primary education. So you, you don't expect a school to be charging VAT, you know. Issues to do with, um, issues to, I said educational, medical services, medical services. These ones, they don't charge that. No wonder why if you are working for a pharmacy, you would notice that they don't freak out when they hear issues to do with that. Because medical services, they don't, they, they we don't, we don't have bad consequences. So don't, don't just expect that a pharmacy will not pay that. It depends on the scope of items which the pharmacy is selling. If a pharmacy is selling medication, pills and other medicines, in addition to you know, a pharmacy might be selling these in addition to something else. It may be selling perfumes and stuff in the same pharmacy. So don't expect perfumes to be categorized as medical services. To the extent of that, you have to, to account for VAT consequences of those particular transactions. Then other, other supplies are called zero-rated supplies zero rated supplies. Now you may say, say, exempt supplies, you are saying there are no VAT consequences of a transaction because they are exempt. If you are an exempt supplier, you don't even claim input tax. But what about, what about zero rated supplies? So what it means is applying a zero rate to a transaction, a zero rate of VAT, VAT, implies that implies that the operator can claim, can claim input tax on purchases input tax on purchases but charges zero VAT rate on charges zero VAT rate on eligible supplies listed below. On eligible supplies listed below. So you, you, you really now understand what a zero rate is. 
Zero rate means you don't, you don't, uh, you, 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 you can claim input tax, but if you are selling something which is, which falls under the category of zero rate, you don't charge VAT because the rate you're using is zero. But when you buy your supplies, your purchases and stuff, and you are charged the VAT, you can claim input tax. Are you getting it? So let us have examples of zero rated supplies. Zero rated supplies. Now, you, you, which supplies do you expect to find a zero rate? Remember, I'm not saying zero rated firms. I'm saying zero rated supply, meaning if you are a firm, you can actually sell zero rated supplies in the other supplies which are exempt. You, you, you can, Imagine a supermarket. A supermarket sells medical things like pennies and stuff. Those are exempt for tax. The same supermarket sells other stuff which is zero rate. The same supermarket sells standard rated supplies. So here are the examples, just a few that are, that are coming to my mind, zero rated supplies, issues like basic food stuffs. Basic food stuffs. No, by basic food stuffs, always remember we are referring to uncooked food. Uncooked food, like e.g. cooking oil, cooking oil, milk, eggs, milli meal, milli meal. You know, basic food stuffs, bread. Uh, but you don't expect to buy a sandwich and, and, and say it's zero rate. So if you get to pick and pay and you buy bread, you will see they don't charge much because it's zero rated, because it's uncooked. Meat, beef, beef, uh, etc. But if you, if you, instead of buying beef, you buy bread. Instead of buying bread, you buy toasted bread or an egg sandwich. This is, is to be a basic food stuff. It's now a process. So this, this the, it, it ceases to be zero rate. And then we do have agricultural inputs. Agricultural inputs. All agricultural inputs. Agricultural inputs. And supplements all these such as eg c the fertilizer fertilizer chemicals chemicals it is now it's important for you to notice that when we are saying uh inputs or seeds it does not necessarily mean you are into planting. Most students, when they hear the word seeds, what comes to their mind is planting. So they think of maize seeds and tomatoes and seeds means inputs. So if you are getting day old chicks, piglets, the small tunguru, my day old chicks, my chicks, they say my zero rated supplies. And another thing, and another thing which is zero related is sales of agricultural crops. Sales of agricultural produce. Agricultural produce. If you are selling agricultural produce, it's zero related. Uh, make sure it's unprocessed. Uh, another is for. Another is, oh, well, what is happening to my thing? Four. Another is export. Exports. Exports are zero related supplies. Another is fuel. Okay. Five. Zero rated supply, another six. 
uh, I say the export fuel. Uh, six international passenger transport, you know, or we can say cross border, cross border transport, cross border transport. All these are cell related supplies. Uh, so I'm just giving you examples now. You may say, say, now you have, you, have, you have done well in telling us zero rated exam supplies and stuff. So tell us what standard supplies are. What then are standard rated supplies? Standard rated supplies. This now becomes a logical question from you. Tell us, say now, what are standard rated supplies? These are, these are any other supplies, any other supplies which qualify, which do not qualify as either, either exempt and or zero rated. So the list of what standard related supplies are, it's, it's endless. You can't finish them. Any supply which doesn't qualify as, as exempt or zero rated supply, it becomes a standard related supply. It becomes a standard rated what? Supply. Now, uh, let us say uh, VAT registration thresholds. VAT registration thresholds. Registration thresholds. What are the VAT registration thresholds? Because you now understand that VAT is a tax aid. It's a tax aid which you have to apply for upon meeting certain uh, certain requirements. So it's it's it's, it's a tax aid. So uh, let me let me open my WhatsApp here. I want to I want to send a document which I have, uh, okay. All right, uh, okay. All right. Okay, so you say always, oh, it's, it's, it will be attending to quite a lot of messages. So what I'm what I, what I'm going to do here is I want to get to this um, where is Bridal's message here. I want to I'm sending this to our WhatsApp class group text. Right. So there you are. Sure, you have it now. And allow me to open it. Where is it here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's opening. So my discussion item with you is VAT registration thresholds. There are various categories, there are various registration thresholds that we have. Can I can tanga business? Kune knows voluntary registration. Or register with the voluntary, voluntary, voluntary registration. You know, by voluntary registration, what we are simply saying is, uh, you choose to register voluntarily. You choose to register without without anything. So, so what is it? 
by, by voluntary voluntary registration. So normally there is no normally there is no minimum minimum ten offer to be attained ten offer to be attained. Although the commission. The commissioner may prescribe a minimum turnover. May prescribe such. So, can I should register under voluntary registration? Kashinja Abraham sales on a phone on the phone. We don't go register business. We go for register in fact. But Kashinja commissioner can have such a data. I don't know what they are. Can go sit up a cart, but I pass prescribed. As you see, prescribed. So what are the benefits of compulsory registration? That my benefits is that you should not have to register business. Who for what you should not register? Who for what to register for tax for VAT? Registration. Quite a lot. We should not have to register business. Who for register for VAT? If you know that we should have minimum threshold, I know you. No, because for, for voluntary there is nothing. So, you can go to Chitanga to register for VAT, or to register business, or to register for VAT. You know, benefit quite a lot. Check Tanga, you know, benefit. It creates cordial relationship with Zimra. It creates cordial relationship. Not put your neck online. Can I register that? Who said what about the zero register? One goes to volunteer. One goes volunteer to register. So now, so now, so one day, so even the way you are perceived by Zimra in terms of how they can inspect your documents and all that kind of stuff, can I can register voluntarily? Will not mitigate such mistrust between yourself and Zimra officials. Number two, it helps the firm. Easily get tax clearance certificate. Tax clearance certificate. Some call it ITF 263. ITF meaning income tax form 263. And this this vital in helping the firm in helping the firm to win tenders. Oh, tax clearance certificate. If you do have a tax clearance certificate, you benefit quite a lot, especially when it comes to winning of tenders. Can I cheat a business? You can cheat a tax clearance certificate. You can cheat a business. You can cheat a tender. So there's no realize if you don't have that, you may not actually get it. You may not get the tender. So, you can volunteer for register, to register for that. You can also have that clearance certificate easily. Another benefit is it minimizes minimizes the firm's exposure. The firm's uh, exposure to the taxes. You know, if you register for for VAT, uh, you 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 minimum for potential penalties. Actually, I wanted to say penalties. Who can register for VAT compulsory voluntarily? So I said benefits of compulsory. I wanted to say voluntary. This is voluntary, not compulsory. You know, compulsory is when you are being forced. But this, what I'm referring to here, is voluntary. Benefits of if you register for voluntarily, you know, mitigate my risk. I got it. Time you which 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 on as I took register for VAT, you know, gonna qualify for registration. What it gets out of notice, and over gets out of notice. I was also not about what is zebra as was one night. One was now to what you want to reach a one go car reach a ten over April register is not a man April one go car reach one go car reach a man November last year I'm not sure because I'm not register voluntarily 
Unotaki, wama pena otisi, kubano vemba hiyo. Kusika this, kusika today. And this uzuma nje zine zato unifa inichi your burden to your firm. You get it. Then there are other registration thresholds. Alpa document randa furai. Uh, to save time, uh, let me let me zoom this and show you logically and perfectly well. This document is obtainable in our WhatsApp class group. So these are some of the voluntary registration thresholds. Please pay attention because I have saved the time by just typing. I have typed I have typed all this. So compulsory registration let us start with compulsory let me define what compulsory means compulsory means whether you like it or not you have to register for vat that's what it means but as you know we have to say as it is a compulsory is one kind of register as you know we have to a cool supplier my exempt supplies here can i make them to supplies there is no need for composer registration, because what there are certain suppliers really exempt. Wabaka, can I make exempt suppliers? There is no need for composer registration. Nekutu wagaro of suppliers on this is not tax consequences. As you can know, the suppliers on this is not the zero rate, cannot be standard rate, so no two is. Whether zero rate cannot be standard rate, no final kuku register can wash it at this. So, can I get a turnover? Yeah, four point eight million. This is zim dollars. Okay, that turn over a four point eight million. Remember, this is twenty twenty one. Say, go in no yard, change a yapa cat. Ah, can I show you a text? No, you are one year in areas to deal on twenty twenty one. Saka turn over a yaku. It got a four point eight million. You must compulsorily register for that. Meaning, we can register as a commissioner. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I'm not takes my penalties. Those you pay. The operator, if you fail to register, the operator, the the, the registered operator may pay VAT due interest and penalties, which is computed on that debt. So, we don't have to do much. We are are due for compulsory registration. And for now, we are projected revenue. Quite a good thing to do. If we are going to get a projected Revenue, yeah, four point eight. Because the amount of four point eight million, can I mean, twenty twenty one, you have to compulsorily register for VAT. Uh, now another thing is, on that I say, uh, what about on a monthly basis? To be practical, because I'm not going to get a massive one year. We're not going to compulsory. A registration on a monthly basis, meaning can I take it? So annual turnover in it of which a composer if 4.8. So may you mute? Take it. So annual turnover if 4.8. Just make it relevant to good monthly turnover in a girl. She got to that annual turnover 4.8. So monthly turnover in a girl. She. Uh, 4,800, I'm using my, cal my phone calculator here, 4,800,000 divided by 12. So, okay, we in a monthly turnover. Where was I? I need I need these videos to okay. So we are still continuing with 
a registration threshold. So I was saying, you know, I was sharing my screen, isn't it so, Wimbai, shortly? Yes, you are sharing. Okay, perfect. So what I, what I was saying is, apart from um, compulsory registration, there is voluntary, you now know voluntary, and let us proceed. There is category C registrants. If we are a category C registrant, Uno fana kita anyo ten over ye nineteen million two hundred. Nineteen million two hundred. And then unenge wawa chi do you know to qualify with a category C. Ungati na send a happy ma category se. Ukashka zimura si chentra na nikuti ma cash flows a kuna wana se. Uno kuna choose a category. It's not apply wa to qualify pinda m category. Then category D registrants, we are going to 9.6 million. Per month. This is this is this is annual turnover revenues. Then, as you shall notice shortly, a uh, my registered operator, we are going to issue a the tax invoice. As can we get such things with less than 800? Upon a need, we can issue a tax invoice. And as you shall also notice. VAT in on the payable can actually refundable. Okay, the VAT is less than 4.8 is refundable. I will refund you. The refund will not be processed. You know, I'm buying credit in my account, Marco. So, do you have to say, take note of these registration thresholds. Can you take a snapshot of this? Can someone take a picture of this? Just take it on Skype. In going up bottom left, we end up against more. One or it the tab. We are going to take a snapshot. Can you do that? I'm waiting for someone to take a snapshot. All right. Is someone? Uh, manage to take a snapshot. You know, put to a snapshot. You know, we have a gun more bottom right here. I think I. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, sorry. I've connected my phone here, so I was wondering what's happening. Okay. Okay. So someone is taking a snapshot. So let me check. Nobody is taking a snapshot. You know, a snapshot, I'm, I'm not saying use the phone. I'm saying come here where they are saying more here and then take a picture of it. You'll see. You see a snapshot schedule on your on your on your on your Skype on your chat. Okay. Are you getting it? I'm wait, I'm waiting. You know, here more there is check snapshot here. Can you do that? Because I can't take snapshot myself. Because I'm the one with the screen. Can someone do that? Um. Hello, sir. Um, I'm I'm failing to see Pakansi take snapshot because or maybe Skype young we carry. It could turn subtitles on, turn off incoming video and hold call and this corner anyway, but could see in the tourist snapshot. Oh, I was gonna say a basketball says a bit of bango could take a snapshot. I was just uh uh like that. All right, it's okay. I don't know if snipping but, tool can also work. Yes, you can snip it. You can snip it. It's too far. But either okay, way, so don't worry. But if it's not for now, you can go to the VAT that you see. If you have to say, you don't have to register under what category, under what, you don't have to go to the VAT figures and then so on.
So may you please mute, hit the mute button when you've got background. Okay, I'm sure you've managed to snip the picture. Let me proceed. Let have, me proceed. I've, I've done so, the snipping tool. It's uploading. Okay, fine. Yeah, it is registered here that it is sent. So you now know that according to registration, there is category C registry. There is compulsory registration. Compulsory registration. Uh, I'm just now shortening what I've showed you. For you to compulsory to compulsory register, you know that turnover or revenue. Turn over or revenue. It, it has to be what? It has to be four million eight hundred dollars per annum. Annum or four hundred thousand per month. That's a that's compulsory. And under if you compulsory register, you submit submit. VAT returns monthly, VAT returns on a monthly basis, a monthly basis by the 25th of the following month. This is my, my returns are April and final submit or by the 25th of May. Those are some gorillas. Then there is category number four. Uh, it's category C registrants. Category C. Uka register under category C. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Volume of business. So turnover. Turnover revenue. It has to be 19,200,000. These are in dollars, remember? per month. 19,200,000 per annum. Can I work in category C? You submit returns on a monthly basis by the 25th of the following month. So I'm going to on the You have to fiscalize. You have to fiscalize. To fiscalize, it, it means you buy a fiscal device, buy a, fis, a fiscal, a fiscal device. It's a fiscal device slash machine. Fiscal when accounting for that. Kama wana mama machine zani kaka produce saka nika chini zika fiscal receipt kamshi di kaka kano zika fiscal device ika kaka kano shanda kana orum category C kana orum category C registrants kamshi di kaka kaka chini kana noli inga niku zimura that is kana kari online mengu waka nuko na shanda kari offline but but kano 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 orum batsi la shaka nyanyis so what are the what are the Qualities of a good fiscal device. I will take a machine of a good fiscal uh, device. Device. You know, we are saying features. If you go to a, to, a, to, a, to a supplier of these machines, what is it that this machine should be able to do to you? If you buy this, because you you need this as long as you are in category C, you need this. Otherwise, you you suffer consequences from similar. So what what happens is, this must must one this device must be able to keep accounting records. Accounting records for at least six years. At least six years. This is feature number one. Feature number two must record 
did time uh, dead time amount excluding what excluding what comma what amount what amount comma total total amount inclusive of that inclusive of that comma description description of goods description of goods comma amount uh, uh, i mean description of goods unit price unit price comma quantity are the features if if you see a machine which can do this it it it's 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 it's, it's a good fiscal device why do we need debt? Because zuno zve zimura zvine ma periods kana zvinhu zva April zvo kunanga zvinhu zva April. Auti vi autengese zvinhu zva May zva zva March wo zvi include mune April. Ah pane ma cutoffs, ma cutoffs. So aka kamshina aka kanobatsira zimura manje kuziva izvo. Kanonzi ka cash register. Vamwe vanokati ka fiscal device. Vamwe vanokati vamwe vanogona kuti iwo ndogona kuti hi ndakashaya. Kanonzi ka cash register. Dole ni zita rako yu, cash register. Saka ndosho kano ita, kama fana kika kipebo, ita zese zisu. Uye kama fana kika chiproduce, kama fana kika serialized. Must produce serialized documents. Serialized, meaning, no fana kika zili in sequence. Serialized documents. Documents and retain a copy in a copy in those called tenga food world you can pick and pay one of the copy of fiscal fiscal receipt so you know what in a copy as a come from a show up my identification like identification identification imagine get issues like name of the operator name of operator operator address those of you want to continue to pick and pay join a seat no name of operator address name vat number of the operator kashua this name and address a vat number of the operator name the number contact details can you know this but I can't you are a waste custom. You could also take on pick and pay. You won't have your details up. Can you are pick and pay? Don't can only cash register. Make sure upon no tenga can also come category C. Tombo to get a VAT consulting. Ukawana company a qualify and category C. What was that? Mufana fiscalize. Meaning Mufana tenga cash register. I could carry so important in the Agango Tengue anyhow. Can Fana get meet all these features. And the go to the car accept. Then you need category A and B registrants. Category A registrants. Category A and the five. This some category A. Um, that's no go around. No gonna 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 no Come on, category A, you submit returns monthly, bi monthly, you know, bi monthly. Could we also send this for example? For example, uh, for example, uh, returns, uh, returns uh, for returns for. For let's say you submit in January and then you skip February, so returns for let's say November and December, November and December, returns for November and December are submitted, submitted on the 25th of January. Of January. 
So if you submit on the 25th of January, then for January and February, you submit, then, uh, then for Jane and Feb, for January and Feb, Feb on the 25th of March and so on. So this is category A registrants. Kune footy not category category B registrants. Category B. Again, category B, they submit returns monthly, bi-monthly. Again, submit this submit returns. Returns bi-monthly. Bi-monthly on the this this now they submit on the 25th of february 25th of 25th of april 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 and so on now what is considered for you to pin them cut in my categories are e cash flow pattern you know the examiner is the zimur out of it way no one i'm going to get my sales in january but my right and sunday one saka zimur as i need to eat up satisfy one of the money that was the way monthly child you can also satisfy you know who allow a good register in these categories then kuni category d category d my category D registrants, these submit returns quarterly. Submit returns quarterly. You know that quarterly means three months. Quarterly. Quarterly, that is after every three months. Submit till tenth quarterly, meaning after every three months, e.g. farmers. E.g. farmers. And work with the amount of the revenue in a revenue threshold as well. Revenue threshold. Revenue threshold is um nine thousand six hundred annum. Tarifa ni 9,600 pe anam uno pinda mu uno pinda mu mkategori ti na chimujanu lot muzi ndi jikuti what are the consequences of failing to register consequences of failing to register for VAT consequences of failing failing to register register for VAT if you are, if you want to register for VAT and you happen to fail to register for VAT what are meaning what do you think Zimra will do to encourage registration the same question may come and say what what are actions at Zimra's disposal to encourage compliance with these registrations? You get that. So, should you fail to register for VAT, this is these are mitigatory actions which Zimra can do. So, what what does Zimra do? It Zimra will back dates. Zimra will back dates. Output tax, output tax from the date of eligibility, meaning from the date you were eligible to register. Zimra ino calculator output tax, meaning Maria ongo ifan ongo waka charge of my customers by waiting is a PC in a calculator. Yai calculator, the firm forfeits ona ona danger yacho. The firm forfeits, you know, you forfeit, forfeit income tax claim. I mean, input tax claim. Input tax claim uh, during 
the period of registration default, a period of registration default, period of a default of register A, no forfeit in input tax claim. And you know that tax ya uno charger in on the output tax. Ya uno but direct mass supplies in on the input tax. Saka yo kasa register for VAT. Uno on the exam na, na zimura. Wango yifan rango ka charger output tax ye mari i. Saka tipe mari i oyo. Iwe wendo wako nti tipe. Wazo wango sna kui charger kuma customers. Asa and you know that uno yifan ya waka charger minus ya waka badara in on the input tax. Because wango ka default ya register apana input tax ya uno claim apa period ya wango ka default. So, chima foot cha wane ita ndi chichi. Pale ma penalties. Penalties of up to 100% of the output tax exposure. Penalties of up to 100% on the, on the output tax exposure. Maria, ungo ifano ungo ka charge here. Exposure. Ime, Ime foot interest, interest, interest of, um, interest of 10% per annum, of 10% per annum on the amount outstanding, amount outstanding. You get that? Charge by interest. So if they say you know some of our garages, you quit track it. Once you are eligible for registration, you get you get yourself registered. Now, can I register? We need my obligations, man. I want to find a good cheat. Obligations of the registered operator. Obligations or duties. VAT registered. What am I going say? Was VAT registered operator? We are simply talking of a VAT registered year, not anyone. Duties of a VAT. Uh, registered. Pardon. Uh, I have a question. Pa pa ta chita enuji. Um, ma consequences of failing to register for VAT. Yes. So. I think interest is um is ten percent per annum of the amount outstanding is levied, so there's no fixed like um cut up on a threshold for my penalties. It's just that percentage shete. Yes, because he he over that year we carry on go seek up to go if I not to qualify for it. It's a must make a take with that tariff. I have to compose that. Composer and doing in ya, you move Vatia quick and with a mini Marcel's a wagon with a four hundred thousand per month, can up to four point eight million per annum. Once Marcel's a pastor, any of those, what for not to register for that? Who can get the money? Zimmer any calculator output takes the only one on which I charge my customer. Kuva Musi Wawaka Wawaka Tanga, who won that amount, four hundred thousand per month. Kuva Manthi. You know, calculator, you buy out output ticks, you know, if you want to go about After one hour, one twenty, one about penalty hundred percent, so I'll up at two forty. What about two forty? You talk to interest, you ten percent on that amount. Right. So, what are now your Thank obligations? What ones this is? And this is my tabas. You are welcome. Now, what now are the obligations that we will start registered operator? Will operators, you know, are registered for tax. That's the type of data for document. So, one of duties of a registered operator. I, uh, I'll come to everything else, but let me go straight to duties of a registered operator. We know that you can register all my responsibilities of a registered person. You know, ku ku ku. not a person, but it's even a natural person, like a human being. 
kind of a juristic person like a company. They said no got a person at law. So a registered person is obliged to comply with the following requirements of the VAT Act. Number one, you have to keep accounting records for at least six years after after the tax period to which a transaction is related. So, can I April? My records are April. April, what you got set April. Kubamswa, one May, to a final calculator, six years. Um, I'm going to win now, my records. To compute and submit VAT returns as per requirement, then you could have name a due date by the 25th of the following month, whether you could buy monthly, can I put what monthly? Three, to calculate and remit VAT due to the Commissioner General of Zimra on or behalf, or I mean, or on before the due date. Ukataza kubita due date, ma penalty, ma penalty of 100%, my interest and everything. Actually, your name will be online, so to speak. To issue tax invoices or fiscal invoices, debit notes or credit notes. Why was the article announced my tax invoices? Can I my fiscal invoices? My fiscal invoices don't get what I a cash register. Can I see now on the issue I know the tax invoice? I shall talk to you about tax invoice shortly. To account for VAT if one or if one sells or retains stocks in or, or assets, can I register the operator? A can I win announce my closing stocks? Can I stock we are retainer? If you know that you have fixed assets, you have fixed assets, you have a truck, you have a furniture, you have a registered operator, you have a food to charge an output tax on those assets. To advise the Commission of any changes in business details or when one ceases to trade, you have a seize to trade, actually, you have a seize to trade within 21 days. From the cessation of trade. What to go to a change a branch, what close a branch, one open and we will. What are close on us? We have to notify the commissioner of these changes within 21 days. And can I buy name with talk? We will close a business in a stock that we will account for that in that closing inventory. Remember, can I want to go in a stock who can close a business? I will ask a stock here. Tumbo tune potiki u closer potiki. Do you throw the clothes away? You sell them. So that that so the there is a VAT component in that closing inventory which you have to account for, and you notify the commissioner of these changes within 21 days from the date such changes are made. So these are the obligations of a registered operator. So you can see, but I want to take a in, to take a step further, especially on the features of a tax invoice. How, how do you know that this is a tax invoice? Because the the commissioner here is not saying you have to issue tax invoice. You have to issue invoices. No, it's saying tax invoice. So you have to satisfy yourself if I really issued a tax invoice or just an invoice. So these are the features. Of a tax invoice. Features of a tax invoice. Now, um, obligations. Uh, this one we have just discussed from the end out. I'm not. I'm not going to type. They are already in the end out. Discussed from the end out. Make sure you you have the end out in our WhatsApp class group. Uh, now, what are the features of a tax invoice? How do you know that I have issued a tax invoice rather than an ordinary invoice? So there are, there are features of a tax invoice, like number one, mm, features of a tax invoice. Number one, the words, the words, tax invoice. The tax invoice must be written a prominent place. <laughs> I like it. You know what it means is the way the tax invoice must be of such nature that they are clearly legible and they are written, they are not even hidden, so to speak. 
they are not even hidden, they are clearly legible. So the way the text invoice must be written on a prominent place, by prominent place we are saying, on top where they are, you know, text invoice, you see this with text invoice right at the middle and at the top, that is the prominent place. A name and address of the custom, name and address, customer and of the registered overrate. So you have to show name and address of the customer and of the registered operator. By registered operator, we are saying of the firm which is doing business. It is also to show description, description, comma, unit price, unit uh, quantity, quantity, uh, unit price, unit price, comma, quantity unit price, comma, amount uh, exclusive at, of at, VAT rate, VAT rate, VAT amount, you know, you have to tell us, is it 0%, is it 14,5%? So you have to, it has to show VAT rate, VAT amount, and then total amount, total amount inclusive, inclusive of that, total amount inclusive of that, you know? Also, it has to be serial, serialized needs to be serialized. Serialized means issued in sequence. Serialized, please. Don't issue invoice up as if you can't say an invoice, you have to keep the copy, the the reason. You have to keep, to keep a copy of the cancelled invoice and the reason why it was cancelled. It has to be serialized and carbon copies retained by the firm. You need to have carbon copies retained by the firm. So it has to be issued in sequence. You have to retain carbon copies. So that can as you can see, you can see one of the records. Make sure you have to make sure that it is there where it is. You can keep it in a Zimra file. My documents are Zimra file. You can keep it in a response. You can keep it in a response. You can keep it in a phone. It's OK. And then don't keep a record. Always use the Zimra. It's very important. Kukua, kuwa ni email. Watu printa. Kana waka ita email. Printa email yoyo. Printa email yoyo. Uva wai tazi. Uva wai stapler. I mean, wai fai ilam Zimra file. It's so important. It's so important. Isu the says ne itu bachiti kana wa e registered operator. Tapto peza zidu. Now, imwe item and I doubt around the equity. How to, how do you register for that? You may ask, I now know this say. That's the world in the no that's it's a registration threshold. Do not register say for that. Because you know it papa e you you register online. You know register online. And you know that can work register for that. Unufana go munanga to go trade up dara. Saka unongo what one in business partner number, BP number. Unufana go my record this you know dara. Could you register for that? Because as soon as you start a business you must register with the Zimura and you will be given an identification number which is called a business partner number. You may pee on commencement. Within two weeks, you commence a business. You will register for that. Business partner number, you will be able to register for that. You will be able to register in Zimura's books. Your name is yes, now, it now has a unique identification number. So can I work to register for VAT? You know, so fill in on the REV1 form. You know, download online from Zimra. Then we'll submit a schedule. Ema sales is our kaita because one got up with Zimra thresholds. Actually, and then get out of here. We'll submit a invoices. Actually, this is Zilpa REV1 form. Really, it has to be accompanied by this. What's up, Mr. Marcel's projections for the next 12 months is his need to Zimra Yasses. Uno quanta pindam category C. Current stamped bank statement. 
ne leta ikuwa po inda public officer. Kana wachi dila ni zunu ze zimura. Kana wachi dila ni zunu ze zimura. Amungote wa nwe kubasa kwenye ndo wa nenda kuzimura. Kuzimura kune ma appointed representatives. Amunu fandana kuwa nao. Wano kurejesti raizu nizu. Wano zima public officers. Saka public officer kwa nisi mwenda wa zimura. Mungote andini ndi kuitila wa nwe atlenzi. Ndiku a a. Atlenzi yache inu fanonge ya katu mpoinda. Pai ne leta ili signed ni ma director ze Atlenzi. Saza hata ka suika kuzimula anu mesu kwa ma records. Panonzi ma ayama records ye Atlenzi. Ne zitarake iye representative watch anu vato include wa as public officer. Kana ino zimula nda kuziwa address pitila oti ma inspections in staff. Saka ino dama lease agreements nechi i zese suzo. Kana ma title deeds if the property is owned. Eh, kana huli an individual still woke up with some VAT thresholds. It's not the foot current bank statement, copy of ID, proof of residence. Um, kana wusina resident, proof ya chonfi after it. This is what this need for no complete after rev one form. One got in an individual, not a company. You get that. This is how you register for VAT. So you now know, once I register for VAT, you now know that there are conditions or, or, or responsibilities that you now have to do or to perform. Now, amongst the responsibilities of a registered operator, panel responsibility number two, regarding for we own, e responsibility number two, we are TO. Uno fanya kunge uchi computer and submit. I, they say that responsibility number three, calculate and remit VAT due to the commissioner on or before due dates. So that we have a computation of VAT refundable or payable. Computation of VAT refundable or payable. For the month, yeah, in the, for the year, for the month of because my tax periods, because in my monthly, was about a file. Why is the commission asking that it is in the for the year? Because he married that in guy, the guy, the guy, the guy, computation of that refundable or payable for the month of. So you, you now have this um, computation of that payable or refundable for the month of so. They are. Uh, so you know, on Tuesday we don't have a lecture because it's a holiday. So it would make a lot of sense if we cover what we want to cover today. Computation of that refundable or payable for the month of. So you put a dollar sign like this. Uh, you do it nicely, and there is what is called output tax. Output tax. Output tax. Remember, this is a tax you are charging when you are selling out, when you are selling, when you are supplying your goods. But remember, if these are zero rated, it will be zero rate. If these are exempt, there is no output tax to talk about. So, if you are a farmer, you sell maize to GMB. You say pig, pigs, poultry. Vegetable. Farm produce is zero rated supply. Saka pensi kwa utenge sa ulucharge zero rate. Saka pa output tax pani ge pa sina chin. Asi unozot VAT on standard rated sales. Kanoka tenge sales you mean ne 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 ma sales standard rated sales. That goes out my standard rated sales at our page. My sales, yes, I still make exempt, cannot be zero rated. I will go at least to your page. So that's what you can find on boutique, you can see my standard rated sales. You can see my car sales, you can see my motor, you can see my fashion, my furniture shop, my furniture, yes. So I think at least my standard rated sales to your page. My standard rated sales are around. And then I put out the kind of I am as Marie, you can see, even fat inclusive, which is a good track of VAT at your pana. Chowningo cheese up an upper in a game VAT at you. Quite a good team of sales at you, but VAT at you. 
can I revert inclusive? Uno to fourteen comma five over one one four comma five. Uno multiply anichi ne amount. Can I revert exclusive? Uno go to fourteen comma five percent times that. Of what VAT on fringe benefits? Let's say on motor vehicle benefits. Motor vehicle. Benefit. Make sure we calculate it per annum, per I mean per month, right? Then uh, VAT on purchases um, returns. VAT on purchases returns. You'll be given whether they were purchased returns or not. So you have VAT on purchase returns, then VAT on sales of fixed assets. Fixed assets. So once you have, once you have done this, uh, you you now have uh, your your output tax. In a gale output takes here, okay. so where do I get that? Yes, here. So in a gale total, it do takes here, why charge of my customer, which collect and deal with those patients output. I see over bad direct. They are why charge my customers. Then we know what input takes. Input takes much. It takes your work at charge. In other words, you paid pass by pay. We have seen input takes. Input tax actually it will be output tax less input tax. I can get it up less less input tax. Right. So input tax here actually no calculate or say. Ningo shiti VAT on standard related purchases. Standard uh, standard rated purchases so there's vat on standard rated purchases you put it in brackets because the input tax then you come here and say vat vat on sales returns sales returns uh, in a in an exam they may not say sales returns but they may say credit notes credit notes that's what it sells that these are sales returns my credit notes but i'm going to have a patati purchase sell terms one of them will be able debit notes you will see i'll up in the back so there's credit notes and debit notes then there is vat on on uh, VAT on purchases of fixed assets. Fixed assets. If you purchase fixed assets and we charge the VAT, you get that. And then VAT on that, VAT on that. Now, after you've done that, you then say, you then or you can say VAT on general expenses. Expenses. You know there are general expenses, e.g., repairs, rent, lighting. Well, no, if you are if you have got VAT that we're paying on all these, and then uh, you can now say. VAT payable or refundable fat payable or refundable. Refundable. So if it's payable, it's 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 refundable, it's negative. So this is how you compute fat like this. So easy, these are the mechanics of VAT. Now let me have points to note here. 
after after doing mechanics of VAT, let me now say pay. Or what happens if you put VAT on purchases? I'm not saying you need some purchases. Those need some students, my students. I'm not asking you to purchase them. Yet I'm saying VAT on those purchases, not the sales returns, but VAT on sales returns. So points to not. Points to not. Points to not. That's NB now. Uh, number one. One. Minimum VAT refund. Minimum VAT refund. Remember, I, I, I showed you earlier the minimum refund is $4,800. Or oh, you know, got one percent year compulsory threshold, four thousand eight hundred. Crowd can I see? I will not refund. Uh, okay, it less than it get a less than four thousand eight hundred. What 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 happens? You know, go credit kwa kwa ku VAT control account kwa Two. Uh, the minimum. The minimum invoice amount, invoice amount to issue a tax invoice. How much do issue a tax invoice? Minimum amount is for eight hundred. Eight hundred dollars. You got you got more than ah. Uh, you get a less than 800, I'm going to put in the invoice. Right. Three. Intercompany sales. Intercompany. Intercompany sales. Company sales are eligible for that. In other words, are affordable. That's what it means. Ah, valuable. You calculate VAT on intercompany sales. So when we need, we got transfer, we got transfer as in, we got okay, marimba, we got is that okay, ah, we are not hand, for example. So not to can have it. So we got transfer as still may exempt, can have mass zero related. So not to charge what for yet. Four. Fringe ben motor vehicle benefits are inclusive of that. Motor vehicle benefits. You know, motor vehicle benefits are inclusive of that. Inclusive of output tax. Output tax. So by that we are saying that portion, that portion equals. 40,5 over 114,5 multiplied by benefit multiplied by 1 over 12. Make sure you, you reduce it to a month because when it comes to issues of tax, uh, this is the VAT portion per month. That's how we calculate it. Uh, so number five is the following expenses cannot claim input tax. The following, the following expenses cannot claim input tax. You don't claim input tax on these on these expenses. All right, do you want to ask right. something? Right. Mm. I have a question. I have a question. That's right. Mm. My fringe benefits. Until we are talking of our motor vehicle benefits. Yes. Uh, these are the common ones. 
but mamawa ana so kafana ni kuti fringe benefits wopi wa entertainment allowance wopi wa school fees allowance ayo uh, and that education na enough at saka so, wopi wa fringe benefits ye in that ye education allowance ye wana wako aunga tipa ni fat tati susma financial services ana fat saka so, wopi wa fringe benefit ye staff loan aina fat Saka pama pama fridge benefits ano ni atole komo na ni fat ma motor vehicle benefits. Upanzi. Oh okay, Saka it's not uh, all fringe benefits are available. Yes, those kata kata specify kuti motor vehicle benefits. Okay, and upanzi ni ni mtu angu ema fringe benefits. Thank you. You're welcome. Then I. Papa input takes up. Ulko nongo ti tango ti pane VAT on general expenses. Saka raka ti tipu zote aasi ese ano pind. Aya ma expenses anda ya kulista pana pa aana VAT. For example, ma staff costs. Like A, staff costs. Staff costs, we are talking of wages and salaries. And salaries, pension. Patients, medical aid, medical aid. It is I have VAT. I don't my staff. Actually, the government must staff slash payroll costs. There's no good as a payroll. Payroll costs. I have VAT. B. B. Uh, entertainment. Entertainment expenditure. Entertainment expenditure. Entertainment expenditure is in a VAT. In a total on the entertainment or expenses which are of recreational nature. Expenses which are of recreational recreational in nature my expenses are for nanana like subscriptions to a gym eg subscriptions to a gym eg gym sub 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 can i'm sure but there are md but you are in the gym as now as now we are claiming input takes meaning our property with less input takes up Ah, but particularly less input tax. As this is the same, I see every expense in all pind. I have released when I say, I need to help you on my exam. It was the other say that I buy in club. Then uh, also that the expenses which are for recreational in nature. Then um, uh, purchases of passenger motor vehicle. Purchases of passenger motor vehicle. Saka ukatenga mo passenger motor vehicle. Ati include by input tax. As however, maintenance, uh, however, VAT on maintenance, maintenance of passenger motor vehicle can be claimed. You know, claim my as it cost your passenger motor vehicle. So, pitches so we can say pitches cost of passenger motor vehicle. We can take passenger motor vehicle at the claim input takes as soon as we can maintain which it does in a man pays a passenger motor vehicle to no claim my input takes. Then, crockery, you know, should you incur things like crockery? Crockery. By crockery, we are saying canteen equipment. Canteen equipment. Uh, equipment. Mostly uh, pots, plates, pots, plates. Uh, it is, uh, these are canteen equipment. We don't claim input tax on this. Right. Uh, so you can see I have covered quite a lot on the mechanics of VAT. This is basically what I wanted us to cover today. 
Now that our video was interrupted, what I will do is I have to make these videos uh, to make it one and then upload it for your colleagues who, are, who have not attended the lecture for them to 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 get to get exactly what 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 I what I wanted us to cover. So after I've uploaded this, we are left with tax administration. Hopefully we will do it on the first of May. To know it one hour to sheet a tax administration. Remember it will be on Tuesday. So it would be on Tuesday, I don't know. First of May is when? Oh. Say, first of May is yes. Sunday. First of, of May is Then ah, second Sarah. of May is Monday. Sarah Tuesday is not a holiday. Ah, Sarah Tuesday, I told third of May. Ah, Sarah, I think I think I traffic. And you last, the you last topic here, you know, but I paid the top of that to get vision. Saka, what I would do in the chow, you know, 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 you so we have to, at not time to waste on Tuesday, right away, we have to have a firm handle to do one of our first question paper and so forth. And those lectures now, unlike these ones, which we are uploading on YouTube, those ones will not be uploaded. So I will be expecting everyone to attend. I'm sure our colleagues we have not joined, clearly they will attend. So on that note, enjoy the rest of your evening. You have a good night. Uh, and 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 a wonderful week uh, ahead. Cheers. Bye. Bye.